We're traveling through a dimension both of sound and ideas. We're at a place where the mind can comprehend and devise a solar radio, a wireless transmitter, measure time and light. 65 electronic projects brought to reality with this science fair kit. Astonishing, perhaps, but you can find it for Christmas for $17.95 in a place that's known as Radio Shack. Radios, stereos, recorders, everything in sound. You're the guy with the radio shack? What's up, dude? <laughs> I wanted to come by and film your spot. Is that cool? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, awesome. Okay, so where are you like from? Because I saw in the, in the pictures... I'm from Knoxville originally. You're from Knoxville, okay, yeah. I'm Tennessee. So was that where your store was? Yes, I had a uh, store there in uh, Knoxville for about eight years. Awesome, yeah. yeah and that was up. a full size, like in a mall, right? That's right, yeah. yeah. I had, my components, I had microcontrollers, I had all cords, all adapters. All the, yeah, what Radio Shack really was. That's right, yeah. yes. So, and then now what this is kind of morphed into, like I'm, I go to the Radio Shack in well, Somerville. Well, this is a kiosk, so yeah. you can't put cords and components and everything yeah. in the track in today's traffic in order yeah. to no, know. Nobody's going to stop by for diets. That's right, but yeah. if I had a store, I then would have all that stuff. stuff. So this okay. is just testing the market in this area, and the, really the main purpose of this choice was the big outlet that was in Charleston. Okay. Um, Where was that location? Dude, I, I don't I don't know because okay. I'm not from here. Yeah, but yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm I'll find out. I'll post time. in the group. Somebody yeah. will let me know. Yeah. And one of my, one of the folks that follows my channel said I was at the Radio Shack Grand Opening. And I was like, the Radio Shack Grand Opening? And I'm like, what are you talking about? And so it's a younger guy. He's like, if he's a teen. And he said, oh yeah, it's open up in um, uh, Northwoods. Yeah. And I'm like, Wait, do you mean when you were like two years old they opened up? Like, <laughs> like, like that something's not equating. Yeah. And so then lo and behold, like I don't know how, but of course through the phone hearing what I was talking about, your post popped up on Marketplace. Gotcha. And I'm like, oh, are you kidding me? So yeah. yeah, so I was like, all right, I gotta come down and film this. Yeah. So so your main location, your big location that you had, it is that not was that Knoxville Town Center or a mall that died? No, 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 no. The malls. The largest mall in Tennessee. Okay. It was Knoxville uh, West Town Mall. Knoxville yeah. West Town Mall. Okay. Yeah, so I've never I'll, been there. I was there, and 
I needed to change up and see, um, like, I've, I've always wanted to live in the Charleston area. Awesome. But yeah, was, we moved down here about seven years ago. I was recruited to choose uh, where you wanted to yeah, pop up. And awesome. So, the, the gentleman that was recruiting me, he, he highly suggested this mall. And, uh, this mall's doing pretty well. Yeah, you know? I mean, considering, yeah, the traffic here is unbelievable. I mean, yeah. when you're looking at malls, it's Citadel, like Citadel's this. hurting, but the guy that, or whoever owns the Citadel, I think they're looking for bigger development plans yeah. to happen there. This mall, and, and malls really weren't a big thing down here in South Carolina. Even in Columbia, the malls, like, Shopping like this really wasn't a way of life, is the best way that I can put it. I'm from New Jersey originally, so we had malls in like every direction possible. Yeah. You know, like this mall's yeah, hanging in there. there yeah. yeah, this, well, even the cold stuff. I mean, even heading up into Michigan, like in the Goop, like there's malls that are dying up there ultimately because people just aren't shopping, of course, you know, in the brick and mortars. Yeah. Okay, so I cut you off no, there. No, so, so you. So I opened said, up the first mall location after the bankruptcy, which yep. was in Oxford. Okay, cool. And uh, like I said, I was there for eight years, and then I was like, well, let's, let's, let's try this, this new thing out. Okay. Originally, I was thinking Asheville, and then... Ah, uh, that's another good spot. Yeah, yeah. Well, And it's gotten very it, expensive, it was, though. It was. Yeah. It, they switched the owners. It was CBL, and they okay. switched it. They sold okay. them all. Okay. And so that was a big sign for me to not Two. choose that. Yeah. So, and it's no. crazy expensive down here in Charleston, of course, as you've seen. Yes. So are you kind of just seeing how things work out yeah, for this, like six months I've or been, so? I was a kiosk guy for, for years and years. So uh, testing this out, Yes. Uh, if things go good, may, no, maybe a larger location and of course, you know, having real Radio Shack stuff per se. And when I say real Radio Shack stuff, where my mind goes is I'm a big pinball guy and I collect old pinball machines. So like fuses, diodes, stuff like that that you kind of can't get. Yeah, it's, I mean, see, it's very, it's changed it's very a lot. Changed up. Yeah, I no mean, doubt. Even when I had that stuff, it was only two percent of sales. Yeah. Hey, yeah. There's not a lot of people looking that for that it's stuff. It's the way I want to go. Yeah. Because most profit is that way. Yeah. You sell, you buy a piece for you know, ten cents, you resell it for two, three dollars. Yeah, yeah. You know, but unfortunately, it's not like that. Anymore. Yeah, yeah. Um, but. I would like to have that. That's why I did have it. I had a nice area to it. But being a kiosk guy for as many years as I did, mm -hmm. I know really what people kind of go to, which yeah. is speakers, which is drones, which is, yeah. you know. The, uh, the electronics that That's move. right, yeah. 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 Um, but, that's, I mean, that wouldn't stop me. I would still carry it because even though it's only 2%, that 2% yeah. is just as important as the 98. Have you... Um, talked with the guy that owns the Radio Shack, uh, the independent location in summer? I have not uh, okay. had the pleasure of meeting this gentleman okay. yet, but I met his dad yesterday, ironically. <laughs> oh, okay. It seemed okay? I mean, yeah, no, they, no, oh, okay. No. Yeah, yeah, no, perfectly fine. They, dude, Because they're, they're down more down to... into mobile audio there anyway. I mean, that's their thing, I'm, and the yeah, Radio Shack is just the brand that they've had for 30 when years. It comes down yeah. to, to uh, people, man. I mean, especially with Radio Shack, you don't really look at it as really competition. You know, okay. We're all fighting for the same goal. Yeah. And regardless if it's five miles down the road or a hundred, you yeah. know, it's still they're the same person as you, you know, yeah. just trying to make it. So when you had your mall location, let me make sure that you're in the viewfinder. Yeah. When you had your mall location, um, obviously however it went away, you know. Mm -hmm. So did Radio Shack say, hey, you know what, you can hold on to the license as an independent and when you want to open up and you just kinda of stayed in touch? How did how did that timeline yeah, so, go? Yeah, I'm still a franchise owner, but okay, cool. uh, when, it, when it comes down to right now in the industry, there's a lot of change up going really? on with Radio Shack, so okay. they're still trying to connect all and the pieces. Because another brand bought them, right? Yes, it was okay. General Wireless that bought Radio Shack. Okay, General Wireless. Yeah. Okay, I thought I thought it was an overseas company that bought they the just brand. Recently bought it. Okay, there you go. Okay, because I'm trying to put the I was trying to put the timeline yes. together online, and so many people, like even in some of our groups, um, they're like, oh yeah, there's no Radio Shacks. I'm like, oh no, there's independent Radio Shacks all over the place, and then they're like amazed. Well, it was originally it was, it was General Wireless, which was in charge of all the deals. Okay, and then. They sold it off to Ty Lopez. I don't know if you know who Ty Lopez is. No. Oh, dude, look it up. Okay. You'll love right, that. Ty Lopez. Ty Lopez, he, he was, I don't know if you remember the YouTube videos where he's like, I just got this Lamborghini, but when I'm real excited. Oh, he was one of those guys. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah I think I remember the name. Yeah, so he okay, bought cool. Dress Barn. He 
bought Radio Shack uh, online, mm -hmm. and he bought a lot of defunct companies like the companies. Yeah, like because the, the brand name is worth it. It's That's still right. in people's minds. Yeah. But unfortunately, none of it panned out for him. Okay. And so that's why you have the big battle with this overseas uh, he was actually a franchise owner okay. of all of South America and several other places okay. too. Yep, that's I read. So, yep. Yeah. And uh, that's that's what he's he's trying to organize what he's gonna do with America. Okay, cool. All right, so um, trying to think anything else that you wanna tell me? I've obviously asked you a bunch of questions. No, I mean that's pretty much cool. you know, I wanna see Radio Shack do well, man. Okay. I mean any company right now in America that can make it Something. Yeah, it all, it all comes down to the overhead. That's right. Yeah. You know, I mean, if everything's expensive as hell, then you can't stay in business unless the product. I think the, the count right now is only 50, so we're okay. trying to move up. We were at 500. Okay. Yeah, but it's only like 50 right now. So. Okay, cool. Um, we'll tell you what, if there's anything else that you think of, obviously let me know that you'd like to tell me. Uh, if it's cool, I just want to yeah, film around. Ahead. I'll probably have the video up in a few days. Uh, yeah, it's all your post. I'm like, I gotta come check it out. And uh, you know, we'll, there'll definitely be some buzz in in our Facebook groups. Oh, uh, the Facebook group, by the way, the one that the main one, retail dead or alive. Retail dead or alive. Yes, That's retail dead or alive. Thanks, brother. Thank you. Yeah. So was this a Verizon kiosk, I assume, before? No, it was the Oh, okay.